Hey Capricorn, this is your May reading. I'm sorry it's late, I was sick. So we are going to look at your general theme. What's up for money? What's up for your career? What kind of people might be um, improving your month and then also the ones that are going to try to fuck it up so we know how to avoid it? What to focus on spiritually to have the happiest May ever? And then what is your power crystal? So let's get started. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Your general theme, Capricorn is attracting more good. This is going to be a very important theme for you, and it's all starting with the third eye. You see all that purple there? So um, this is coming from a place, I if you probably can't see it, because it was maybe just outside the screen, um, but a little angel orb just flew by. They've been flying by a lot in um, May's readings, and I don't know why, because it was like, you know, a year ago, they were all over the place in videos, and then they kind of took a break, and then now it was just right there. So if you can see it, awesome. Um, but anyway, so this is important for somebody at least, at least one of you Capricorns. Um, so this attitude of gratitude is a very important thing for you, because it's going to help you to attract more good, okay? It's a very spiritual thing when we are expressing gratitude, especially if you're ex um, expressing it to, you know, whatever it is that you believe in, God, Allah, spirit, angels, universe, whatever, whatever your form of belief is, okay? Now, um, this habit of being grateful is going to help you to be more joyful. It's going to help raise your vibration and help you to be more attractive to other people, as well as to, um, you know, just draw in the things that you like, that you desire, that you want. So that is our general theme. Now, what's up for money? And they're saying, being patient is going to be important, okay? Um, there might be some money hiccups for you this month. You have new ideas, and then you're trying to, like, figure out, like, okay, how am I going to make this work? How are things going to be balanced? Maybe you have, a, like, a new budget or something, and then one plus four is a five, and it kind of just, like, goes awry. But they're like, be patient, because things are going to work out for you, okay? So it doesn't seem like positive news, right? However, they obviously have much more to say here. Um, what else do they have to say? They're saying, yeah, you know, like whatever things you thought were going to bring more balance into your life actually just caused like a lot of confusion. And like, while you're trying to get focused in on how to manage your money, how to balance things out. And if I remember right, I think the Capricorn love reading said something about this. Like other people might perceive you as not being very good with money. So this might be something, um, that's just kind of like a May struggle, okay? Um, it's like these things are kind of expanding for you and bleeding into other areas of your life, whether you like it or not. And so you've got to kind of figure out how to find your focus. So maybe this is a good theme then for you to have. Like spiritualize your money. Remember that money is an energy, that what you give out, you should get back, right? So when you hand money to somebody like a cashier, there's more where that came from and feel good about it. When you pay your bills, I am so thankful I was able to pay my phone bill this month. I am so thankful for phone service. Yay. And the more joy you feel with that, the more able and open you are to receive money from all sorts of different sources. This could come from like, you know, just walking down the street and finding a hundred dollar bill. It'll come in in varied ways and you don't have to control it. The point is to trust the universe with that third eye and be open to receiving money no matter where it comes from. This could be somebody just calling you up and saying like, hey, um, you know what? I forgot maybe 15 years ago I borrowed $200 from you and um, I never paid you back. And you totally forgot about it too. You might not even believe them. Like you might think, this doesn't sound like me. I probably wouldn't have you know, borrowed money to anybody else. I know better than that. But then just take it. Be open to receive it. Because money could start flowing to you through various sources if you're open to it. But you have to be able to attract more good and just trust the universe with this. With your third eye, you have to be very open to that, okay? Because it's not going to be easy for you in the month of May. Now, 
in regards to your career. What do I see for the rest of May? And they're saying fulfillment of your wishes. So career might be where the money starts flowing through so long as your energy is cleansed and it is clear with those waterfalls, kind of like coming from the crown chakra and wiping everything out that was negative, okay? Now, um, planting new seeds, Mm, maybe not the best month for that. So like new ideas in regards to your business or in regards to your career are not necessarily going to pay off this month. Maybe they will later. However, it's like just keep doing what you're good at because opportunities can flow in for you in that regard, okay? So they're saying like you might be a little bit conflicted. Like you might feel this urge to make a change or a shift, but they're saying this is just not the right time for you, okay? Now, how will other people, whoa, they're saying like honestly you just – don't have like enough confidence and personal power to make these changes as of yet as time passes like moving into June, July, August and I'm feeling July with this one. Um, you'll feel more empowered and like you have better direction as to where you want to go and how you want to go about it. Okay. Now, in regards to other people, how will they improve your May? And it's saying they will help you to remember like foundationally what you're doing, why you're doing it, how you feel that you're safe, that you're cared about, like, you know, that you have the basics, okay? They will help you to, rem they will help remind you of that. So, for example, you might be like, oh my gosh, my money problems are so bad, like I can't even deal. And then you walk down the street and you see a homeless person and it's like, oh yeah, but I could be living in a tent. Okay, so yeah, you know what? I'm going to attract more good. I am going to express gratitude. I am going to give this person, like, a doll, like the last dollar that I have and just trust that it's going to make a difference for them and that this is going to boost my own vibration, okay? That would be a good way to handle things like that. What they're saying is we're not um, connecting to this energy of material and spiritual like prosperity. So I would recommend for Capricorns actually this month to watch the um, Christy Marie Sheldon lectures on YouTube because she talks about like our abundance blocks and like how to kind of lean into that energy of abundance so that we can start to receive more of it, okay? Like what are our fears and things like that? That might be very helpful for you. Now, um, now I know that's hard because you're like feeling – when you don't feel like you have like the basic things that you need, okay, um, or you don't have enough of the things that you need or you're used to, it doesn't make you feel very safe and it doesn't make you feel very positive. And then you're going to start to want to control things like how am I going to fix this, right? Like it's natural for us when we're not feeling comfortable to want to control things, but this month you really have to trust spirit and um, allow for miracles to happen and attract those to your own energy, okay? it's That's going to be the best way for you um, because we already know that new things that we try might not grow into fruition through the month of May. Now, how are other people going to potentially try and ruin your month? And they're saying, you know what, honestly, get rich quick schemes, <laughs> things like that. What they're saying is they'll have these new ideas and they'll say, you know what, if you do this, this will help you to expand. It'll help you to grow. You'll get really quick results. And this is false hope. Okay. Um, other people might be like kind of leading you astray or down the incorrect path. And they're saying this is only going to cause more drama with the number five, more heartbreak, more disappointment for you. It's going to be the beginning of a downward spiral in regards to your negative thinking, which will help you, which will keep you in that negative mindset in regards to abundance, which will take longer then for you to come back into like more wealth, prosperity, the things that you desire. Okay. And so they're saying like, don't talk about conflict and defeat. Talk about the things that we are grateful for and the attitude of gratitude. You know what? But at least I got this. At least this is really great. At least I still have this. Like, this is wonderful. And I'm not saying it's going to be dire for all Capricorns. Like, nobody – I'm not saying, like, you're all going to lose, like, everything that you've ever invested in. I'm just saying, like, it's going to be challenging for the majority of you or, like, more uncomfortable than it usually is. And this is the way out of it, okay? Now – what kind of area of spirituality should you be focusing on in order to sort of mend your month to make it the best month possible? And they're saying focusing on your chakra energies. Which chakras are blocked? Which ones are open? Um, which ones kind of – I've been noticing this is going to be sound really crazy, but like um, when I'm doing readings for people, I can sometimes see what it, it looks like a scab on somebody's chakra, and that's maybe how I'm seeing a blockage there. But it's like sometimes it's like pulled off. You know, and that chakra opens up and then like a fear sneaks back and it sort of closes shut and it starts to seal itself over again. And so um, you want to be making sure that our chakras are clear, that they're pure, and that they're wide open to receive the abundance of the universe, like all the blessings that could be coming in for you. Now, speaking of chakras, let's talk about our...
our power crystal of the month for Capricorns. Um, it is the rainbow aura. Isn't that beautiful? I particularly love this one because it's so sparkly. I love sparkly things. Okay. Anyway, what does it do? Um, this kind of puts us in this energy of fun or enthusiasm, like a zest for life, which is going to help us to vibrate higher, which is going to help us to attract in the things that we want, right? Um, it deepens our insights. It harmonizes our relationships with others. It kind of awakens our inner child with that fun energy, helps us to be more extroverted. Um... But what it also does is it takes all of our negative energy and it just turns it back into positive energy and shoots it back to you. So this is going to get rid of um, karmic ties that kind of ruin your life. It gets rid of um, resentment and grief. So this is going to be like a really awesome stone to help you raise your vibration um, and kind of come into this energy of trust with the universe and just like knowing that other people are going to be there to help you and that blessings will come in unexpected ways. This will help you to... Um, heal dysfunctional relationships that you might have, but it'll also help you to see auras. So if you're interested in your own psychic development, this is a kind of a cool stone. So anyway, it does a lot more stuff. You can read more about it in the description box below. There's a link and love and light. Mwah! Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!